Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Van Buren in Clearwater County. And in this episode, we're going to be focusing on growing the population of Van Buren. So I really wanted to focus on building a university today, right up here. But there's one little problem. If we click in here and we take a look, you need a population of 28,000. And interestingly, when we take a look at what's at 28,000, that's capital city. <laughs> so we do not have a capital city yet, and we're going to get there today. There's going to be a couple of things that we need to focus on. First of all, density. And second of all, I think that we're going to need to make sure that our education pipeline makes sense and is fully complete. So we're going to focus on a little bit of targeted density and uh, think a little bit about what makes this place special and why people would want to move here. But before we get to that, I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to design my own custom computer perfect for playing games like City Skylines and Timberborn. Check them out by looking at the link in the video description. There are a few things that I want to mention that were brought up in the comments to the previous video. So this right here, this train station on the side of an arterial, not a great look, and I agree. So what we're gonna do is move this. And one of the reasons we're gonna move this is we're doing this kind of hokey loop-de-loop -loop thing that we shouldn't be doing. So what we're gonna do is add in uh, a little place where we can have some parking, add the train station off from there, and then uh, we'll change our, our uh, track location a little bit. So a little bit of a mulligan, but I think it's gonna be a good one. So we'll wanna start off by looking at our terrain. Yeah, this is not suitable as is. We're gonna to need to do some things to get it ready. So I'm gonna come up, why don't we go up seven? And that's not a suitable road. We'll go with this big road two way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just use all the power of my mods and get this level. So I'll select the object height of this road and then I will smooth some things out after I look at our economy menu, because I love doing that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and smooth this out, get this to be perfectly flat, and then back this up just a little ways as well. So this is where our train station is going to be, and we're going to do some weird things. Now that I'm getting a better handle on the network multi-tool mod, I think we have some opportunities. I am going to need to, pa need to pause this for just a moment, though, and we'll just move this over here. And everyone's sad. And I understand. I'm sad too. But we'll we'll get that rectified in just a moment. Let's steal the parking lot over here. And relocate that over here. And that's pretty good, but I think we can clean this up even more. So that's what we're going to do. Just pull this stuff together. And make it look like a, a, co a cohesive parking lot. Okay, and now that I have that done, I'm just going to slide this down just a little ways. Hold Alt, make it nice and clean. Truthfully, that didn't exactly do what I, I was hoping, so I'll just go it a little bit ran, a little bit, uh, a little bit on my own. And truthfully, it, it almost seems like I could fit one more in here, so I'm going to give that a shot. Then I'm just going to line this up really quickly. So line up those objects, and now I can slide them all over. And I can modify the roads just a little bit to make this work. Okay, and now if there are any oddball spots, we can certainly come through and try to use our paintbrush tool to fix this. I don't know that it's going to work. Oh, it will. It'll work just fine. I'm just going to be very careful. Or I just need to not let perfect be the enemy of good and accept a bit of imperfection. It's just fine. It's just fine. Or I just keep playing with it till I get it just how I want it. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, you know, I could do a little bit more to try to make this a little bit more perfect, like sliding this over just a little bit. There we go. Good enough. So now we need to change our location of our tracks. And I think I can be pretty sloppy with this. But before we get sloppy with it, let's go ahead. I'm going to go into Network Multi-Tool. We're gonna, we have this segment unlocked, or we want to unlock it, I should say. We'll unlock it, and then this is a station track, so I'm going to copy this and just upgrade this. So that should do the trick for us. Now I want to copy again. I, I, this is my station piece. I don't want to copy that again. I'm going to steal one from over here and then delete a whole bunch of track. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna be really sloppy. Just terribly sloppy. We'll just come through and make our connection. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, that's where the arrange line mode comes in to play for us. So we'll just get that set up and I might even extend it a little bit further. There we go. And now I'm going to slope this, which should flatten this out for us and really sink that thing into the ground. And now you might be thinking, well, now how do you fix that? Well, it's, it's actually pretty simple from here. So now I just go into the fine road tool and I'm just going to start, as I see the incline start, I'm going to start my tunnel. There we go. And now that's perfectly level. And I also am here, so I might as well get rid of these other tunnel pieces as well. So I think that this is an excellent mulligan. Look at that. It goes in a little bit more naturally, kind of just disappears into the hillside, comes out over here. We've got a couple of lumpies, not insurmountable. We could do a couple of things here. We could certainly go through and make this a ground level piece. That, that might be the might be the trick right there. That that does that does the, the trick for us. So if we pop in here and we look at our terrain heights, we can see that it's pretty easy. Just pop through here, level this out a little bit. There we go. Uh, so now we have our train, and we've got to figure out where the train goes. So we'll just pull that through here. Got that in place and we'll, we can get this thing running again. So I'm much, much, much happier with this. The only problem I see is that our line, so it was mentioned about, uh, you know, <laughs> more times than I'd like to admit in the comments that the line that I'm using here is just not very appropriate. So I use an electrified train. Uh, I, did, I didn't really give this enough thought. And I used a bullet train, which is an electrified train on a track that isn't electrified <laughs> so we're gonna go through we'll use one of our um one of our amtrak trains that we have one of our city links and that should be a little more appropriate and now the another the other problem we're gonna have over here is we, we just don't have power uh but i'm okay with that because i think what, what we're gonna do is extend some housing over here especially considering that's the point of the episode today we want to get our population to at least twenty-eight thousand. so Extending our population over here makes total sense. So I'm going to come to about this triangle and I'll need to have on all of my anarchies to make this work. And I can see there's a weird node right here. I'll have to fix that. That's why it's going to remain yellow. There's an extra node. So planning roads are great. They also point out things like this. And there it is, the extra node. Get rid of that. Our planning roads are completely converted. So along here, I'm going to do something that's going to be controversial, and we're just going to run residential straight down here. The reason for that is this is going to be college housing again. And to me, it's a pretty suitable land use in this area. Now, we do need to take a look and extend this district down. Otherwise, we're going to get lots of kind of a fairly dense duplex, attached duplex type development. That's not what we're looking for here. If we're gonna do that, maybe just along the shore. And in fact, the unfortunate thing is I think that if we let this go, let's speed this up and see what we get. I guess I'm okay with what spawned here. I do want some college housing in here too, but it's okay. So these are gonna remain for the time being and that's completely fine. So there we go. And that Amtrak train just disappeared. <laughs> so the city link. I'm wondering if I just come through here. I just want to make sure that the city link is indeed what I'm thinking it is. We'll do the city link regional, the Van Buren shuttle. And you already see passengers lining up here. Things are filling in. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. So one of the reasons I'm feeling so good is we have a, a brand new asset that is absolutely spectacular. So the Federation, who is absolutely amazing, put together an, just a beautiful asset for this build with the help of Datbra Skull. Datbra Skull put together a flag that it's just, just awesome. So this is the new state of superior flag. And I think we need to put this at the county courthouse. So let's close that for a second. Come down here 
and get this thing going. So we've got a number of different flags in this asset pack. So first of all, we've got this one right here, which has a US flag with the state of superior flag. We've got this wall mounted flag, which you could put on the side of a building. So very, very cool. Doesn't really work well with the courthouse. Uh, and that's more of a problem with the courthouse asset than the flag itself. And then we've got this 60 footer, which is absolutely wonderful. We've also got these light pole flags. So if you wanted to attach these to a light pole, you could do that. And we're certainly going to do that. I don't know how much we're going to do that today, but we are going to do that. And then we've got these vertical flags, which we are going to use today. Uh, basically, you could put it along a building and then sink it down and make it appear as though it's hanging from the building. Uh, also, if we had wires hanging across the street, we could certainly hang them from there as well. So very, very, very cool assets. So we're going to start out. We'll put an American flag in the center. And then I want to have a state of superior flag and and we'll put a Clearwater County flag. Although I want this to be a smaller one, if I can. <laughs> we'll have one that just dwarfs everything else. And I want to sink this into the ground a little bit. And truthfully, maybe what I should be doing, maybe, I'll leave this to the comments. Should I put the 60 foot flag for the, uh, for the state up here and then sink it down? Uh, wh what do you think? Uh, it, it is a little weird that it's the same height, approximately, as the Clearwater County flag. Although, I, I think it's, you know, it's it, this is the county courthouse. So, that does make sense that there would be prominence given to that flag. Now, I do want to come over here as well. So, these are awesome flag flags, and I, I think that we should take advantage of them. So, here is one of the places I want to do that. So, we'll come over here, we'll select the flag, we'll drop it down. There we go, we got it hanging there. I think that's really cool. You drive down here and you'd see that. It's not perfect. If I set it a little bit further back, the problem is it starts to sink through. Again, that's an asset thing. So if we just look at it from a couple of angles uh, where it's not like that, it's fine. Uh, we could also go ahead and have our wall mounted flag. And look at that. That looks spectacular. I really, really like that. <laughs> that's so awesome. Thank you so much to Dapra Skull and the Federation for putting this together. Just an excellent job. And thank you to every single person who submitted a flag idea. Uh, it, there were so many good suggestions. It was really hard to choose uh, you know, these ones. Uh, that said, the Federation and I came out with our, the same number one, which is, is pretty outstanding. Uh, that just kind of is a testament to what a great job has been done with that. So, on to our build. First of all, I see a thing we need to get rid of. Not just the unified UI, but this. And let's talk about why density would come here. Well, first of all, right now we have a limited amount of space that we are zoning. And uh, right here, all of this is, is in our imagination right now. So there's a limited amount of space. What we're going to do is fill in a whole bunch of this with single family. And at once this reaches that uh, kind of critical mass, you would start to expect that there would be developers asking for more density uh, because that's the only way that you're going to make redevelopment work. Uh, especially in a new community like this, you, you look at the land that's there and if you're, going to, if you're going to look at buildings, you look at some of these older buildings and say, well, if I, can, if I can consolidate a decent chunk of land there, maybe I can increase the density. So I am going to go ahead and convert these roads these are no longer planned. Now they are part of our reality. But we do need to focus on a school. And I really want the school campuses to be over here because of their proximity to the library. So we'll start with a small high school asset. I'm going to actually go back on that. We're going to use one of the suburban high schools. So we have suburban high school A and B. This is a two story high school. It's from St. Paul, Minnesota. This one is also a two floor suburban high school. And this one is a one floor suburban high school. I want to go for the two story suburban high school if we can make it fit or the two story urban high school rather. 
and I'm gonna use Anarchy to fit this in place. We'll see if we can make it work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> so we'll need to go back to the drawing board a bit there. And I might have to be satisfied with that single story high school. Not the end of the world. I just, I just like the larger high school. So with that, I had Anarchy on, and now we get lots of trees popping up right through our buildings. So this asset may look familiar to you. It's because we used it in Ashland. But if there's anything I know about working with schools, it is that there are often a few reputable consultants that do this kind of work in a particular area. And uh, to save money on the cost of doing business, don't think that they wouldn't reuse a plan. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe they would create something unique, but if, if, if it's a flat site like this and they're asking for a school of a fairly standard capacity, I would think that it's totally normal to think that it would be kind of a, a reusing of something that already exists. Okay, and I just wanted to move this around a little bit to make sure that we can get this in here appropriately. Uh, we're not going to have a big turnaround at this at this school. We're going to consider it an urban uh, school. And as such, we're going to be okay with uh, having loading occurring right on the street. That said, we do need to have some sort of facility out here for the children to play in. And we also need some fencing. So we're going to go with just the city park fence. I, I like using this one. I know that there are other assets that work really well. This one's pretty good too. The nice thing about having Anarchy on is you can go right into the school then and make it work. So now we need a playground in here. We'll just go with something. Uh, you know, I think we'll go for a smaller playground. Place that there. We'll turn it around. It's going to be very mad at us, but that's okay because we have our zonable paths. And, you know, I don't love that idea, truthfully. But we're going to go for it. There we go. And that's that's pretty good right there. Uh, so just wanted a, a way to, to be able to make this look a little bit better. Let's add in a few trees to really finish it off. I am going to start using... I've been using a lot of uh, the, the trees that uh, come with the new vanilla game. And they're great, but I do think it's good to incorporate some other trees when you can. So we'll get that focal point tree. And maybe a couple of other interesting trees for the back. And then again, I do want to add in some sort of court over here. So the kids can play. A little bit of basketball. And I'm really feeling good about this after watching my Bucks cruise to a victory against the Celtics. I was pretty nervous there for a minute. Shouldn't have been. Always trust Giannis. <laughs> He's so good. So good. Did not mean to place that tree. I will get rid of that in just a moment. So my only problem here now, I've added in some ploppable concrete. And I'll probably finish it off just to clean up the general look and appearance of this. Uh, I don't love that there are street lights inside of here. So I think that we're going to come through here. We'll upgrade this. Look at the street lights and turn these off and then i could go through and upgrade these i could certainly do the same on those i guess i don't mind those as much i just really don't like them around the basketball court well, we've got this tree here we'll save the tree oh my goodness did we just clone it okay very good so we've got our elementary school in place we could certainly go through i'm gonna add one more tree just just to give it a bit of balance and then we are going to go back to this and give a couple of bushes right out front. I think you all know that I just absolutely love placing these bushes. And then again, I'm going to clean, clean up some of these pavements. Where they got a little bit ugly. There we go. Looking so good. Looking so good. So we've got to do the same thing over here. We've got our high school. And what we're going to do is open up this campus. We're going to get rid of this right here and all the trees inside of here. We'll plant some new ones. And right here, I'd love to add some parking. Of course, I have tree anarchy on, so I'm going to see some things. Just need to wiggle this a minute, a little bit. There we go. 
So you might be thinking this isn't nearly enough parking, what are you doing? And I agree it's not enough parking, but this is an urban high school and in urban places you don't always get enough parking. Sometimes you gotta deal with a little bit of imperfection. So we are gonna want a some sort of athletic facility around here and you might be thinking, you know, big stadium. We're gonna do that at some point, but right now we're gonna hold off on that. And the main reason for that is I think that we could, we're gonna have multiple high schools. And sometimes when you have multiple high schools, you'll see uh, a consolidation of the athletic facilities. So that's what I want to do in this community. So for the time being, we're just gonna focus on some of these other facilities. So here are all the buildings I wanna work in. And obviously we're not in a place to do that just yet. We'll get there. We will get there. And maybe we won't get them all. That's the other thing. We might not get them all on the campus. And that's totally fine. We can certainly have one across the street. Take a, a couple of liberties. Maybe we'll reorient this road just a bit to make this fit. There we go. And let's clean up our concrete a bit. There we go. So I am going to go ahead and uh, I don't uh, I don't love what I just did. So now we have trees growing in the concrete. That's not ideal. We'll pull that back just a bit. Uh, we're going to landscape this and kind of just leave it as is. We could certainly scoot this school over just a little bit so that we don't have buildings overlapping. Of course, now we got trees again. <laughs> so there we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. So I'm going to throw in a bit of landscaping. I'll just steal some trees that we already have going on over here. And I'm wondering, I wanted to see if I could potentially scoot this over just a bit, fit in some more parking. Unfortunately, that means that we are paving basically every square inch of this. It's not gonna work anyway. And it's probably for the best. There we go. I would not say that this is the very most attractive uh, high school campus, but it will improve with time. You've got to trust me. You've got to trust me on this one. And I'm actually going to, I was going to put a fairly large tree, but we have all of this water access and views here. So we'll put something moderately tall in there. And then I, I want to, to give some more thought to this. Maybe we just move this over here. It'll be accessible by the school, but then we don't have to disrupt the shoreline. Now that I give that some thought, I think that's the, that's the appropriate way to handle this. So now we've got this going, it's time to start getting some zoning in this area. I think the only other building that I meant to get in the build that I didn't is a post office. We should take care of that before I, I, I zone everything in. So again, we've got all of our city services kind of consolidated over here and we're going to continue that theme. Now, one of the things that was mentioned is that I could certainly back this out uh, like I was initially intending to. I think I might do that just a little bit. So it was pointed out in the comments is that having a little bit of space to allow for a fire truck to have a, maybe a little bit of a, the ability to pull out would be beneficial. With this particular asset, it's not super easy to do that. So I think that we're going to be okay with a little bit of imperfection here. And it, it won't exactly give enough space for that, but that's okay. Okay, I wanted to see if it would be possible just to, to park one of these vehicles in the back. And I think it makes a ton of sense we will just, we'll say that they're working on it back. Ah, uh, no, I don't like that. We could certainly put one of these vehicles over here, though. They're just such great assets. It feels, it, it feels like a shame to hide them. So I'd love to be able to show them and maybe not put it on the roof. <laughs> that would be bad. All right, so now let's get going on our zoning. So what we're gonna do is just extend a lot of our zoning over. I wanna use a zoning adjuster too and give some thought to how we're doing this. And I'm gonna pause it for a moment because we need to think a little bit about what is going on with our views 
and with our zoning. So we have zoning popping up along this corridor, which means that we're breaking up the size on the, on the side. Probably okay here, but there might be some places that's not appropriate. We also have different districts. So we've got this one here, which has the college housing, this one here, which is the dense housing, and this one here, which is the single family housing. So we just need to be mindful of those as we're going through. So if I were to leave this as is, I don't even know what this is. I think that we'll just pull over the single family zone over here and that'll do the trick for us. Now, the county sees an opportunity to improve this shoreline and it's gonna take it. So what we're gonna do is add some key walls here. We're gonna use our parallel road tool, which is my absolute favorite tool now, and make this look really spectacular. So I wanna be able to see and, and you know have this be some sort of uh, place to take in the water and the views. So this, uh, the city uh, key wall wide is pretty nice uh, for that. So we'll pop in here. We're gonna go on a parallel road tool, we'll click this. And now we've got to go to every single interchange or intersection and then and click on all of those. So I'd love to skip this, but I can't. And I want to go all the way to the beach. So I'm going to hit tab and we're going to hit plus a few times. I want to give ourselves the ability to zone a little bit along here if I can. And that looks like it'll do the trick. So we'll hit enter and watch the craziness. And I don't love that. I think I went too far. So let's give that another go. And undo it is not working for me on this. Something to keep in mind. Okay, so I went 55 meters. You know, I don't know that it's a ton different, but I feel better, so we'll take that. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of oh, odd stuff happening here. First of all, we've got uh, this gap here. We'll fill that in. We've got these key walls reversed. We can come through here and click on this invert segment. And that will allow us to get these facing in the correct direction, which is a huge help. But we still have this problem here. So what we're going to do is join a couple of nodes. So we'll come here. It's the union nodes control. And I'll click this. Truthfully, I think this is the right one. Don't love what that did, though. That's much better. So now it kind of follows that shore. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna hold Alt and try to slide this over and make this look a little bit better. And I'm just gonna lock some of those nodes in place to really liven this up a bit. That's looking good. You can see that that perfectly parallels that road. We do have some problems though. Now the beach looks crazy now. We can fix that. That's not a problem. So we'll come through here, select that height, pull this over. I'm gonna reduce the strength now as I bring this over and then we're going to taper this off, widen this out, actually widen this out, and then just gently tap a couple of times. We'll need to try this a little bit, uh, a little bit more. There, I, I can live with that. So now I want to back the sand off. The sand is now on our key wall. I don't love the way that looks. And I also want to extend this key wall just a little bit. And I basically wanted to extend that to the end of this road. We might go further in the future, but for the time being, that's going to be a, a, a nice, happy uh, little median for me. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it there. And now I'm going to come along the edge and smooth things out at the bottom. Just so our key wall looks as good as it can. And then we're going to come over here and get everything filled in. Get this to be totally flat which will give us the ability to zone this in the future. And I think that this would absolutely be high density. Uh, the reason for that is we've got some excellent views from over here of the water of the capital of Ashland, and this would be some incredibly valuable land. So we're not even going to futz around with this being uh, low density. We're gonna call it what it is right off the bat. The other thing I'm gonna do is raise the terrain a bit here to get some of these rocks that come onto the shore. Really like the way that looks. And it, it feels like a natural transition into this key wall as well. Look at that. Very nice. It's like it's built right into the rock pile there. Really, really like that. All right, so we're not gonna zone there yet, but I do want the zoning to appear there. 
So I'm just gonna go through and upgrade these with the road that's already there. And we're gonna wanna make sure that we do not inadvertently zone right here. That is a no-no. In fact, to remind myself what a no-no that is, we are going to go ahead and just add in a path right back there. And then I'm going right over the top of that with a eight by four concrete. So there's a there, there's a path right underneath here so that it actually functions. Then the concrete is here so that it looks like you could walk anywhere in there. You can't, but it looks like you can. <laughs> so that's a win in my book. And hopefully, I, I saw that car come up here and it almost looked like they could drive off. And that would be a that wouldn't be good. <laughs> so there we go. We're we're in business. So now on to the business of upgrading the rest of these roads. Now again, I think that the area along the park would be higher density along the water here. This would be an excellent node of density. We are gonna to get to that, but we're gonna start our focus here in this downtown core around our main street. We've got some problems. You can see that commercial spaces are really struggling to take off and that makes perfect sense to me. We're gonna get rid of a couple of these. We've got some overlapping things going on that I don't like. We'll need to take a look at that. I do want to open up a space here. We're going to have a special space. And I'm going to maintain that. It's going to be a little bit of a farmer's market. Something in the downtown area that's special. So we're going to go through. You see that we have these higher density buildings here. I want to extend this to the other side of the road. So that we have a transition in between this lower density. This, this I shouldn't say lower density. It's... it's mid-rise development into our college housing and we're going to redevelop along this road here and we're zone we have zoning here that's not supposed to happen there we go so now we'll get some more of this type of development over here and we're going to change the zoning right here and increase the density so this will remain unless i delete these buildings so this is the height of realism as i go through and just clear blocks. I guess it's urban renewal and it's absolute worst. Uh, we don't like urban renewal around these parts. Uh, it's not a good thing, but we're going to do it because uh, we can't really effectively simulate rezoning in this. Uh, this would be a it would be a checkerboard for a while as things redevelop, unless a whole developer was able to consolidate, or unless a developer was able to consolidate a whole block. Not necessarily the most likely scenario, if we're being completely honest with you, and especially right now, as the community's lower density, I don't know how much desire there would be for that. So the other thing I want to do is I want to look at some of these buildings and just make sure that we have enough households showing. Like right here, it's showing that this, which appears to have four doors, is actually one household. So we should pop into realistic uh, population and we see that it's set in a single dwellings. If I switch this to US high rise, we get two homes on each floor, save and apply. Now we have four households, much, much better. So I'm gonna pop through and just look at all of these to make sure that we actually have an appropriate number of households and we'll pop back in just a moment. Okay, so I've gone through and I've adjusted the values on a number of these buildings, including some of these higher density buildings that are now coming up. And what I've noticed is that a lot of the corner lots for whatever reason, didn't have the correct generation. Uh, this building was one, <laughs> one household. So was this one, so was this one. Uh, so you've really got to go through from time to time and just make sure that these are showing up correctly. You'll probably still find some and it's, it's kind of frustrating, but you do know that once you set it that, that one time, it'll be correct. So it's got to spot check and make sure that all of your buildings are showing up correctly. So I think we're at a pretty good spot right now, but I am noticing a couple of odd things. <laughs> like this one, for whatever reason, generated backwards. So we're just going to get rid of this. It was probably me with Move It sliding it over at some point. Look at all the people scatter and scurry. Sorry for the loss of your building. This one too. Very strange. So I'm just going to pay attention to that. I'm not sure exactly why that happened, but I have noticed it in a couple of locations. My guess is that something got inverted or I slid it over myself. So something to be aware of. But now we're getting this density and what you'll see is that the main drag is starting to come to life. And that's a good thing. Now here, we aren't seeing 
100% of the density that we were seeing in other places. So I'm wondering, I'm going to delete this. I don't know that I did it. So there we go. Now we'll spring to life with the exact same buildings. <laughs> so apparently I just didn't, uh, didn't uh, recognize that I did that before. So the buildings blend, which is really nice because you get this gradual transition. And now these are springing up. And if you look, we're getting the right number of households. So that's helpful. And the number of households in these bigger buildings. So this is 28. This right here, two. <laughs> so it's, it's really outstanding, the amount of density that these can add in. Now again, this is another drugstore generating in the wrong direction. If anyone has any ideas, I don't know why these are showing up backwards, but I've got a lot of them that are just springing up in the wrong, facing the wrong way. And that's, that's a new one for me. So I'd love to get that to stop if I can. So for the time being, I'm just going to really need to pay attention and hope that I catch all of them. If you guys see some, some buildings facing in the wrong direction, let me know. I'm wondering if this is actually because I've just been rocking with Anarchy on, which is not a good thing. I don't love doing that. Sometimes you forget though. So we are going to open up zoning and we're going to right away just say that this is a high density area. We're going to level this right here. And to support some of these land value, or the, the, the density of the buildings, we're going to need uh, lots of amenities over here. So that's going to be something that we're going to leverage from the development community is uh, some, some money for park space. So park space credits. And what the city's going to do is build some piers and docks over here. So let's go ahead. We'll add some density. And right off the bat, we're going to build a trail back here. And we'll run that behind these buildings. Now that was not my goal, to remove the zoning. So hopefully, if, just by bumping that back a bit, we're able to get that back. Okay, so now we're good there. But I do want this path to go somewhere. So what we're gonna do is just send it behind here. We've got that negative two meters, so we'll get that fixed as well. And I want this to meander a bit, so I'm gonna add an extra node through here. And then I can pull this one up and send this down and give it more of a meandering feel. I like that. That that feels more natural in my opinion. There we go. So you might wonder why this isn't springing to life, teeming with activity. And the main reason is our building themes. So we're gonna to need to rectify that. Now over here, it did pop to life which tells me that we have our building theme over here and nothing is across the way. That is the courthouse and park. That is the problem. So there we go. So this is a neighborhood and that's another problem. So I'm going to eliminate this as a neighborhood and we'll make it a formal park because we need to spend some time on our land values. So I mentioned we're gonna do some piers over here or some docks or something to decorate the water something to boost land values and here we're going to have a pretty significant park now i do need a name for this park so if you've got a good name please let me know what you're thinking so i did send it all the way over here so that we could use some of our park assets over here i think i might have, I, I think i have parkify in here so we could probably get away with it anyway but no harm in adding it We'll get credit at our park space then. And I'm just gonna go through and add a few of these. So we've got our fishing pier. I don't want jet ski rental or a marina. The marina is not great. The fishing tours, oh, we'll avoid that as well. We could certainly have the restaurant. That's probably about as far as I want to go. So let's, we have move it, which means that we can make this look nice. So I'll come over here, line this up, get real slow with it, pop up directly and sync that right in. That's perfect. And that is the power of move it. So this we will take over here and send it right here on Sabrina street. And we are going to go through and name a few streets today. So that's why I have street naming on. I was thinking of doing it in the last episode, just never got around to it. And you can imagine what a great amenity that would be for all the folks living here. 
living here, anyone visiting in this area, it would just be absolutely spectacular. So absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. And we'll move that tree so that we have excellent views of the water from that unit. It would feel like you were just looking out into the great abyss. Just love that. All right, so here we're gonna do something very similar. I want to leave view corridors open, but we're gonna have some density here, right off the bat. Okay, so right here I've tried to leave places where I could make targeted connections to the key walls while preserving views. So right here, for instance, now we have a view of the from the library directly out into the ocean. So just trying to be considerate of those views, respecting those views, respecting what we've already got here. Right here, this one isn't as necessary, but we're not gonna be able to easily get around here. So I thought it would make some sense. We'll probably be taking out a bit of zoning doing this, but that's okay. The path is more important. Again, we've got our zoning issue here where we don't have uh, an adequate zoning pattern for this area. So I'm going to need to come through here and steal this for just the coast. And I can sever this right there. That's the, the dense Van Buren. All right, really liking that. And now we'll get some density along the coast and hopefully start to crank our population up. Feeling good. So we've got this here. We've been talking a lot about views, but we haven't done anything with this. And I think that we need to start to think about this park a little bit. So I'm going to come through here and add in some of these plazas. Okay, so I, I used undo it to bring back our paths. And the main reason for that is I don't want to destroy them. I really want, we spent a lot of time getting these paths right and we're going to use them again. So we're going to use lots of anarchy to get this to be exactly the way that we want it to be. And that is more or less what I'm looking for. I'm going to move this, get rid of that, and bring this right back where it was. And here we'll do the same thing. We've got some extra path pieces. Don't want those. Move this right back. So we've got a bit of work to do to get this to be perfect. We've got to pull this back. This as well. And we'll get rid of this. We'll fill in the center with something that looks a little bit more prominent. And then before we decorate this, I want to think about the views that we're getting from the paths here. This isn't good. So let's center this on the roadway center line. Then we'll pull this out. We'll use Alt, line that up nice and tight. Do the exact same thing here. Bring that to the corner. Let's again use Alt, that to line up nicely. And then I want to straighten this out. I think it's going to give us a nice effect. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So I probably should have had these nodes in the right place first, because now this is just a little bit off, but there we go, we've got it fixed. So same thing on this side, just pull this over, get this centered. Okay, and now we are ready to begin building our plaza. So we're just gonna go through here, and I think what we're gonna do is just grab some of our ploppable concrete. We don't need to get too crazy with it. Uh, I just want it to, to, to feel like it's full. And I'll get this moving. And what we're going to do through here is... Oh boy, those lights are pretty terrible. Let's get rid of some of those. That's, that's probably good enough for me. Uh, I just want to have a, a couple of amenities in here. So we'll pop through and maybe add some of our park amenities. So I'm just going to add some benches and a place to grab a bite to eat. And it's interesting. Oh, those aren't hovering. It just it just appeared like they were hovering. I feel like I need to, to give this some sort of structure. Right now, it's just you're just kind of floating out there. So why don't we go ahead and plant some bushes behind here? And then we'll need to, to create a bed for said bushes. <laughs> so we can't just leave it like that 
Okay, and I probably should add some planters. Truthfully, I could have added some, some different sorts of concrete down here, and that might have been helpful as well. Uh, but this is probably okay. Let's see. Okay, so a little bit of putts in and putts in, but it looks pretty good now. It's funny, these don't want to overlap perfectly. So we'll just need to step away. Now let's landscape the rest of this, but I'm noticing we're missing some water pipes over there. That's probably what's holding us back from actually reaching our population threshold at this point. Let's get those into place. Right underneath the road, right where they belong. All right, now I want to decorate this and we're going to go pretty basic with it. Make sure all of our anarchies are off and gets, let's get some bushes planted through here. All right, so that looks pretty darn good to me. And I think it really frames the space. If you're coming down the main drag now, you see this beautiful park, which is going to add land value to this entire space. So now I want to do a little bit of work down here. We are just below our population threshold, and I think I can get us there pretty easily. But I want to focus on this area first. So I talked a little bit about the farmer's market that I wanted to put here, the special space rather, which is a farmer's market. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just place this right here. It's not going to like it. There we go. Anarchy always helps. And that's that's okay, but uh, we're going to use a little bit of eminent domain and we'll uh, just take that building out. We'll flank both corners with this. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff right there. And now we'll use some of our concrete, fill that in the center. I think a, yeah, eight by four should, should do pretty well here. We'll line that up with the backs of our buildings. And then I want to turn anarchy on again because we've got these little planter boxes. Let's scoot this forward. I already see trees there, so we'll just move those into place. Very good. All right, so now I want to decorate this area a bit with some of our new flags. They're so great, we might as well use them. And we could use our vertical flags in this location. We've got to turn on our anarchy. So we've got this American flag, and what I think we're going to do is put, put them on, on this building here. Oh, look at that. We've reached Capital City. 28,000. We can finally build our university. Woo! <laughs> All it took was a bunch of density. So we've really grown quite a bit. We can also have ships now, cargo ships. People have asked why we haven't done that yet. That is why. Uh, we also get access to some new paths, Cargo Harbor, Harbor, American Football Stadium, and some, some of our other uh, treatment plants that we haven't been using. What is this? We also have a new asset, <laughs> some sort of bus terminal. So we'll have to check that out as well. All right. And look at that. Now we have these beautiful flags hanging on the side of our building. You could sit down, have a bite to eat, admire the flags. We could also go a step further, make this a super patriotic street. We could have some wall mounted flags as well. Why don't we do that? Come through here. I like this building. Turn this around. Try my best to line that up. And then we'll put this at this cornice level right here. Oh, that is super cool. I love that. Thank you so much uh, for putting that together, Federation, and for designing that, Dadbra. That's just, it's really, they're really spectacular. Got a couple of trees poking up through here, which is unfortunate. Not a huge fan of that. <laughs> But that'll happen from time to time when you're using the Anarchy mod. Oh, or for me, it'll happen all the time. And it'll even take out tree uh, buildings to remedy the trees. Uh, but while I'm taking those out, I did, I was looking at this area right here. And I think we have an opportunity for a bit more density to kind of extend this density out and naturally transition. And we're going to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll do it right here. Remove this zoning increase the zoning and then get rid of those which may drop our population below where we were but I, I think we'll get back soon enough 
and it's going to be a good improvement. Now, interestingly, we've got some things that we need to address, uh, and we'll do that in the coming builds. Uh, so a couple of things I don't like is we've got a lot of these little buildings that are coming up. Uh, so I don't think that we have a lot of one by two buildings in this particular mod pack uh, or, or building theme pack. So as a result, we just get the same one over and over and over and over. So we're going to need to do something about that, whether it's changing our zoning or just thinking about what we're doing here entirely a little bit differently. Certainly don't want trees popping up in the middle of our buildings. I got to change my load settings into here, which is, which is fine. I'll just need to remember to do that before the next one. And some of this is just, it's just as simple as just wiggling the building a little bit and things go back to the way they should be. Uh, so I did have to load back in and that I, I'm, I'm guessing that is the problem. So the way that I think I can resolve this is just to pop into here and we'll look at tree anarchy and we have keep missing trees I'm just gonna rem I'm gonna when I come in unload we're going to delete all of those trees and let's turn on our, our, our tree load level of detail as well so that should improve things so the next time I load in some of those weird trees popping up through buildings that should be fixed uh, yeah one of those weird situations where I had to quit out of the recording and, and load back in and you get trees <laughs> popping up in the middle of your buildings right where they don't belong which is unfortunate for us but not the end of the world not the end of the world so i do like the way that this little shoreline is turning out i think this has a lot more promise and so this is an area i want to focus on and this as well and then of course our university which is going to be inspired by a southern californian university we're going to terrace this up a little bit and do some really special things but i think they were good for today hope that you've enjoyed this episode if you did please hit the like button if you are not subscribed please consider doing so and i cannot wait to see you in the next one we're going to end this with a city tour and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.